Okay, now we need to decide what to teach. Knowledge that is most worth. Because we have talked so far until now, all the people need, all the different kind of groups that need to be involved and how groups are involved in curriculum design. But an, the, a significant part of curriculum design is what to teach and what is worth teaching. From Aust Austin's uh, and Huxkin's point of view, there are 10 basic principles that we need to consider. First thing that we need to consider are the basic tools. What are the basic things that one needs to acquire to participate in the to be a member of society? Say one would say it's economic society, one would say a society at large, because I believe that sometimes we have taken the economic consideration so much that we have completely forgotten all the other things that we need to that skills that we need to sustain society, such as citizenship and nurturing and caring, that makes life more meaningful than See, you need to make a living to have a life, but life itself cannot become making a living because then you don't have a life. Because life is situated within a context, there are more than just commercial value to life. So there are important things that you need to be able to have, such as the basics. And in this case, we are talking about reading, writing, arithmetic, computing, and communication skills. Communication here skills, I need to emphasize, writing is just as important as oral communication. The next one that we are talking about is, or we need to bring into attention is, uh, knowledge needs to be situated in real world. Uh, it needs to be meaningful to the students. Teaching something very abstractly, uh, it could be a mental gymnastic, but it will just dissipate, dissipate it or it will just disappear after a while. It needs to be positioned so students could anchor the learning and realize their learning is in, in many ways meaningful. Uh, knowledge should improve learners' self-esteem and personal integrity. See, the whole idea is uh, when you go through the school system, you should be better off when, when you come out of it. The curriculum should make you a better person. The curriculum should make you, make you feel good about yourself. Uh, in many systems, this is not true. I mean, I discovered the first time I was stupid when I was, when I was told by a teacher that I was stupid. First time I discovered I was inadequate is when, I, when the system flushed certain of my inadequacies and told me that I'm inadequate. The system did not help me to overcome my inadequacy. It just flushed it out and said, here, I show you, I'm showing you the evidence of in inadequacy. So the school system or the curriculum needs to be aware that Creating and 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 uh, monitoring and maintaining a high self-esteem of participants of the curriculum is part of the curriculum design or should be part of the curriculum design. Then, knowledge should consist of many forms and methods. See, one important thing that to support the previous argument is this: in in my particular case, I was dyslexic. Reading and writing doesn't come very naturally to me. But since even if it's Okay, upon discovering that I'm dyslexic, then I should have an opportunity to participate in this, this dialogue in a slightly different fashion. But it was not available to me. In spite of knowing that I'm dyslexic, in, in spite of me professing I'm dyslexic, the system has no room for other forms of intelligence to harness my other forms of intelligence or to communicate with me in other, other, other methods of, or other approaches. So good curriculum has enough room for to um, enough room for many different intelligence to participate. Okay. Now the next thing is uh, knowledge should prepare the individual for world of technology. Now this is really important. That uh, recently I was talking to a, a scholar from UIA, and his concern was. Uh, he was actually specializing in introducing technology to Islamic schools because he believed that scholars who are theologically trained need to engage an audience that are who are living in cyberspace. So he's basically introducing theology in hyperspace or cyberspace. So technology now is it's not seen as the other. So you, you have to choose between to be a technologist or to be anti technologist. Technology has penetrated the fabric of society to the point where it is considered a norm and everyone needs to adopt it 
in a meaningful way that is uh, because we don't want to run a lust of technology just going after technology for technology's sake technology should be should be treated with respect and engaged in a meaningful way that improves lives knowledge should prepare individuals for a world of bureaucracy now this is really important because we live in a in a in an organized structured society the system should create individuals that are able to integrate into society in a organized and structured way so we should teach things like how business and government and industry are operating in our curriculum knowledge should permit individuals to retrieve all information to modify and transform all knowledge and produce new the system of curriculum design should be in a way where we students should experience the experience of able to retrieve and participate see knowledge is a dialogue right it's a dialogue of past present and the future so we should teach students to participate in this dialogue they should be able to go back and retrieve all information make it relevant for their present lives and transform it for the future lives knowledge acquisition should be lifelong now this is really important because uh, if you don't do this correctly people find learning as part of school life and then learning doesn't really take place outside school of course the argument here is learning is multifaceted you know you don't really have to sit in front of a computer or crack a book or or read a journal to be considered learning learning is observing participating and improving whatever facet of life you are involved in but it's sad to see uh, graduates who have gone through 12 plus 5 years 17 years of education subsequently put an end to formal education not to say formal as in as in uh, qualification a uh, qualifying education to qualify yourself to further qualification but to engage learning in any meaningful way i believe that the school system in many cases fail uh, spend more time qualifying people rather than educating people because you understand i hope you'd get the difference because you can get a system going where you say if you participate this i certify you instead of saying i set up a system where you can participate and improve yourself and eventually based on your improvement i will acknowledge your improvements because if you come from this paradigm then in people who like to continuously improve themselves i assume in this case that acquiring new knowledge will improve yourself so that is also an assumption here but nevertheless people actively involve in learn uh, involve in learning or lifelong learning knowledge should be taught in the context with values see this is another thing in order to stay remember when we talked about how knowledge or curriculum should incorporate multiculturalism and pluralism so what many scholars did was they didn't want to to get their hands dirty so to avoid their hands from getting dirty they decided to stay away from many things and try to make things as free of all kinds of value and cultural context in this process it becomes so sanitary that it's like almost lifeless it's tasteless you know it's like eating really really healthy food it it doesn't really palate it's not really palatable i mean healthy food is great but do you really want to eat just salads and croutons all your life there should be a whole color in life so knowledge should be taught in values see the point here is it's nothing wrong having an opinion but what is wrong is blocking other forms of opinion and being so political of with an opinion that you don't incorporate or you don't give other contesting opinions a chance to manifest itself but having an opinion itself it's it's acceptable what we try to do is in order to not to get dirty we just avoid all kinds of opinions all kinds of value and all kinds of uh, individual preferences